This is my last year of being in my 20s. Wow, that sounds crazy saying it out loud. And I've realized that there are a ton of things that I do not buy anymore. And I've saved so much money along the way. So I hope this inspires you to maybe make a couple of changes in your life to also save money and just live more simply. Phone cases. I was that person that used to have a ton of different phone cases so that it could match my outfit or I just got bored really easily and wanted to change up my phone and I had quite a few phone cases to choose from all the time. The phone cases that I had were very cheap, made out of plastic, and now I use my 100% compostable phone case by Pila. This case is great, I've had it for a while now and I've not had any issues, I've dropped my phone plenty of times and my screen hasn't cracked or anything so it's a really good quality phone case and I just really like the design of this. I no longer buy handbags or purses anymore. There's only two that I use and that's just my regular work bag and then also I have this little backpack that I love so much. That is really all that I need right now in my life. I used to love having different handbags for different outfits and now that my style is more simplified, I find that a simple black bag or a little backpack like this works great. Since becoming more minimalist, I don't carry as much stuff in my bags as I used to before and since I've simplified that, I don't need to have different bags of different sizes for different occasions anymore. I also don't buy shoes anymore. I only have the ones that I need and of course if they get worn out or I just find them uncomfortable or for whatever reason I just don't want them anymore then I will purchase new shoes but I haven't bought shoes in a couple of years. I just don't need to be buying excess shoes anymore. Again similar to my handbags, I used to want to have different shoes for different outfits but after seriously simplifying my closet and my wardrobe I only need a couple couple of pairs of shoes and that's about it. I don't buy bras anymore. To be honest, most of the time you can catch me not wearing one and the ones that I do have are really good quality and again, I just take care of my things and I haven't bought bras in years. Also, it kind of helps that I don't wear them much so Maybe that's why they last me a long time. Literally the only time I ever wear them is when I'm filming YouTube videos or when I'm going to work. I don't buy condoms anymore. Can I even say that in this video? <laughs> I don't buy hats anymore. You can't really tell, but I have quite a few hats in my closet and most of these are mine. I just love wearing hats on the weekends or whenever I'm going out shopping and I have bad hair day or something. Just wearing a hat is so easy to throw on and cover up all the mess. <laughs> because I have a large hat selection, I just don't buy hats anymore. And right below my hats, we have a couple of beanies. Some are mine, some are my partner's. When it comes to that time, when it's winter, fall season, I only use one or two beanies, so I don't really need any more than that. It doesn't get extremely cold out here in Southern California, so there's no really need to have different beanies. So I just have two of my favorites that I've had for a long time. Oh, and also back there, which I'm not going to pull out and show you guys, are my scarves. I own two scarves and again, it doesn't get really cold out here in Southern California in the winter or fall time, but I do have a couple of scarves that I like to use to accessorize my outfit and just wear during those seasons. I don't buy any more hoodies. As you can see, this is all of my hoodies and... What can I say? I love hoodies and being cozy and warm during, again, the fall winter season and I think I have more than enough hoodies so I just don't buy them anymore. I stopped buying juices and smoothies. I used to love going to places like Jamba Juice and Nectar to buy myself a juice or smoothie because I was trying to be healthy until then I realized that these drinks have a ton of sugar in them. Once I realized that, I was like, what am I doing? I need to stop buying these juices. Not only to mention that they're kind of pricey and I can make these smoothies and juices at home myself with cleaner ingredients, no added sugars, so 
I stopped buying those. I don't buy sweets or candy anymore. I used to buy them all the time. And again, they're just not very healthy. They have a ton of calories and sugar. So I completely stopped buying sweets and candy. Maybe like once a year, I will buy them just because I am craving them, but I'm more of a salty person rather than a sweet person. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you are salty or sweet because I'm definitely salty. I love chips and anything salty. I also stopped buying bottled water. I used to buy cases of water bottles all the time and once we got a filter, I just used my reusable water bottle or just pour myself a glass of water and that's about it. I don't have to buy any more plastic water bottles anymore. I've saved so much money by doing this simple swap and obviously plastic is not good for the environment so I'm also just being more eco-friendly that way by using my reusable water bottle and using a filter instead. I've also stopped purchasing soda. I can't even remember the last time I bought soda. I used to buy soda all the time and again I've always known that you know soda is not good for you but I completely cut that out of my diet a few years ago. Now I opt for something more healthy like sparkling water or just water, lemon water, or tea. I also don't buy coffee anymore. I used to love going to coffee shops and Starbucks and buying myself coffee all the time. Not only is this a huge waste of money, but you can make coffee at home yourself and save a ton of money this way. Every once in a while, I will treat myself to a Starbucks or go a new place where I've been wanting to try their coffee from, but it doesn't happen as often as it used to. And I'm a big coffee addict, so I need to have coffee almost every single day. And if you go out and purchase coffee every single day, it adds up really fast. So definitely a lot cheaper to just make it at home. Speaking of coffee, I don't buy those K-cups anymore. I do have a Keurig that I was gifted for Christmas a few years ago and I used to buy K-cups all the time until I found out that there are reusable K-cups. This is just so easy. If you're not familiar with it, you just put your coffee grounds in there and stick it in the Keurig ready to go and you can use this over and over and over again. It's also a huge money saver and I'm also creating less waste. I also don't have a gym membership anymore. Do you guys want to see what my gym looks like? This is my gym. So I have all my equipment right here. Me and my boyfriend have our own separate equipment that we use, but yeah, this is our gym and we just watch YouTube videos or play our DVDs and yeah, no need for us to have a gym membership. I used to love buying calendars every single year ever since I could remember. And a couple of years ago, I instead just bought a dry erase board that I use as my calendar now. Super simple, super easy to use. I can just erase all the numbers and all the information on there and then write it at the beginning of the month. I've also stopped buying souvenirs. I used to buy souvenirs all the time. I felt like I needed to have them to remember a place that I went to, but it's been years since I actually bought souvenirs and I don't feel the need to buy them anymore. I just like to take pictures now and remember my trip that way. I no longer buy sunglasses anymore. I always take care of the ones that I have and they're really high quality so I try to make sure to keep it that way so that they last me a long time. One of my sunglasses is my more durable high quality ones and then I have another pair that is just my cheap $5 glasses that I don't care if I lose or break. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for me and subscribe if you're not already for more videos about simple living and minimalism. I don't buy makeup anymore. All the makeup that I use every day is here and a lot of it is stuff that I'm still trying to use up. And before I go out and buy new makeup, I make sure that I completely use it before I purchase anything new. I've really simplified my makeup collection over the past three years and I now wear very minimal makeup and don't really care about buying the latest palette or foundation or mascara. I just like to use what I have and make sure that's used up first. I also don't buy makeup wipes anymore. I now have my reusable cloth that I've used for a while now. And I mentioned this and several other items that are zero waste that I have bought from Amazon. So if you want to see that, I will link it up here. But that video has a ton of other stuff that I made a switch to when just trying to be more zero waste and also save money. 
I also stopped buying nail polish and this is all that I have. Just like my makeup, I'm trying to go through all of these and use them up as much as I can so I don't waste them. But clearly I have quite a few so I don't need to buy any more nail polish. I don't go to hair salons anymore and I usually have had my mom cut my hair and she's been doing that for the past few years and I did kind of cheat on this one because I did go to a hair salon a few weeks ago to get this haircut that I have. This time I went to the hair salon because I just wanted to treat myself for once. I never really go so there you go. I don't buy laundry detergent in plastic anymore. Now I use eco-friendly zero waste detergent pods or sheets. This is a new one that I've been trying lately. It's by Kind Laundry and I love it so far. If you guys want to check them out, make sure you do so. I have a link down below for you guys and I believe you get 10% off if you want to try them out. But it's so much better than buying those plastic jugs because so much of it just goes to landfills and if you want to be more eco-friendly and also save some money then make sure you check out more eco-friendly options. I don't buy dryer sheets anymore, now I just use wool dryer balls and just look at how cute these are, they're little owls. I love adding essential oils to them when I'm drying my clothes to just make my clothes smell a little bit better so use dryer balls if you don't yet and stop buying those dryer sheets. I have a record player and I love vinyls but they are pretty expensive and I just don't buy them anymore. I have quite a collection of vinyls and they're pretty pricey. They can range anywhere from 20 to 50, maybe even 100 depending on the kind of vinyl it is. It was a very expensive hobby that I had no idea in the first place when I got a record player. So now I don't buy them anymore. I am satisfied with the collection that I have and I no longer feel the need to buy new vinyls. I don't buy CDs anymore. Need I say any more? It's 2021. I use Spotify now to listen to music. Also, I don't buy DVDs anymore. That's also kind of a little hobby that I used to have. Whenever my favorite movie came out on DVD, I just had to immediately go out and buy it as soon as it came out and just watch it at home. I really just loved having my favorite movie on DVD for a chance to watch it whenever I wanted to, but then I realized that I never even had the time to actually sit down and watch these two hour or more long movies. They just ended up starting to collect dust, so I don't buy DVDs anymore. I don't buy new board games anymore. I found that I would only play them a couple of times and then just kind of toss them to the side and forget about them. Sometimes I'll ask family if they have something that I can borrow or play if I really do want to play a board game. Usually they have a ton in their collection so it makes it fun to switch it up a little bit and just to borrow from other people and use their board games. I stopped buying magazines a really long time ago. I used to have magazine subscriptions to a couple of magazines like Seventeen and Cosmopolitan and get them every single month and eventually I just lost interest in them and found that I would only flip through a few pages and then kind of just put it to the side. So I thought, why subscribe to something if I'm not even going to use it? Books I stopped buying as well. I have a pretty small collection of my favorite books and now I just use the library to read any books that I want to read and if there is something that I read that I really really end up liking and want to add to my book collection then I will try to find it used and purchase it that way to add to my collection. Right now I haven't bought any new books in a quite a while. I stopped buying low quality and fast fashion clothing items. I used to love going to stores like Forever 21 for all of my clothes and now like 90% of my wardrobe is thrifted and usually high quality items now that I own I no longer go out and purchase those cheap fast fashion clothing items. I also don't buy any more cheap or costume jewelry. I used to love spending my money on jewelry and accessorize all the time. I used to buy all kinds of accessories and they were very cheaply made because again, they're made by these fast fashion companies that sell them for very cheap and they just end up wearing out very fast. So now I wear high quality jewelry pieces and I'm actually wearing a couple 
of high quality earrings and these are by Ana Luisa and you can also check them out if you're interested in more sustainable options for jewelry. If you use my link down below, you can get a discount on your purchase. So if you're looking to have more sustainable jewelry in your collection and avoid that cheap fast fashion jewelry, then go ahead and check it out. I used to buy high heels all the time and I don't know why because I cannot stand high heels. They are so uncomfortable for me. What is the point in having shoes that are going to hurt you or leave you blisters or are uncomfortable to walk in because now I do not buy high heels anymore. I just don't see the point of it. Now I opt for shoes that are more comfortable and not gonna hurt my feet. I don't buy merch at concerts or festivals anymore. They always used to get to me. I used to love checking out the merch booth and seeing what kind of hoodies I could get and t-shirts and accessories. And not only are they very, very expensive. I just now don't feel the need to purchase them anymore. I don't buy Ziploc bags anymore. I now just use Stasher bags, which are so much better. If you're not familiar with Stasher bags, they are these silicone bags that you can use over and over again. You just wash them, you can hand wash or stick them in the dishwasher and use them as many times as you want. They are kind of pricey, but it's such a good investment because you are never going to buy Ziploc bags again. You can basically use these for anything as you would with a Ziploc bag. Right now I have some spinach in here because I put this in the freezer and use this for smoothies. So it's a really great investment to make. I no longer buy parchment paper. Instead, I use these reusable baking mats that I got from Amazon. If you're interested in them, I will link everything down below and you can also check out my Amazon storefront for more products that I use. I don't buy meal prep containers. I've had these for a while and they're still in really good condition. So I feel like I don't need to add any more to my collection. These are quite enough for the two of us when we meal prep or just want to put leftovers away. I don't buy food storage containers anymore. I have these by Pyrex and they're made out of glass and I have a whole set of them and I don't really need to buy another set of them. I use them all the time. They're so great. Another really great investment to make. I used to have a Swiffer and you know with the Swiffers you have to buy those wipes that you attach to the Swiffer to clean the floors. I used to have that and I used to buy those wipes all the time but now I don't buy them anymore. I just have this microfiber one and it attaches to my Bona Mop and again another great money saver. I don't have to buy those wipes anymore and I can just toss this into the washer machine when it's dirty and use it over and over again. Speaking of Swiffer, I don't buy Swiffer's disposable dusters anymore. I now just have this one duster and this part here is washable so I can again use it over and over again. Sorry it's kind of dirty, I haven't washed it but you get the idea. I don't have to buy the Swiffer dusters anymore. I don't buy hair products anymore. I used to buy leave-in conditioner, hair serums, hair sprays, and I just don't buy those things anymore. I still do have a couple of those products that I am currently trying to use up so I can get them out of the way and just have less clutter in my bathroom. I also don't buy shaving cream anymore. My partner actually does buy shaving cream so I just use his. I really don't mind using a man's shaving cream. It basically does the same thing and it gets the job done so I feel like I don't need to buy a feminine shaving cream. I also don't buy any more of these body mists or shimmer mists anymore. I have these because I did buy them a while ago and I just got caught up in a sale that Bath & Body Works was having. I actually don't really like body mists so I'm not sure why I bought these but I guess now I have to either gift them to someone or use them up myself because I don't really like them. I don't buy any more bobby pins or hair clips. I used to buy them all the time and I really don't do much with my hair anymore. I've just honestly gotten lazy. I don't buy plastic hangers anymore. Now I have velvet hangers and I just love these things. They're so much better than plastic. My clothes don't fall off all the time and another really great investment to make and I absolutely love these. I don't buy car accessories anymore. I don't have tinted windows. I don't have cool license plate covers. I don't have a cool steering wheel cover. I don't do car air fresheners anymore. I used to buy all those things all the time, but I just feel like I don't need those things anymore. 
I don't buy single-use items anymore such as party cups, paper plates, plastic, forks, knives, spoons, and all the utensils anymore. I don't buy any small travel size items anymore. Before, when I used to go on trips, I used to love going to that section where they have those mini tiny travel size items and I would just buy a bunch of those things. I no longer buy them anymore. I will just bring my own products and put them into small containers now so I don't have to buy those. I don't buy cards anymore such as birthday cards, anniversary cards, Christmas cards. I found that people will only look at it once and then just kind of throw it out or put it to the side and I just felt like it's a waste of money because people really don't hold on to those things or at least the people in my life don't really care much about cards so I don't buy those anymore. I don't buy paid apps or games on my phone anymore. I used to do that and now I haven't bought anything in quite a while and I just found that the free version of something is just as fine for me. I don't need to buy the upgraded version or the pro version of a game or an app. And the last thing that I do not buy are knickknacks. I used to love decorating my house with the knickknacks and I just feel like I don't need that anymore. I also don't have the space for knickknacks in my home so I don't buy them anymore. So those are the 50 things that I do not buy anymore to save money in my 20s. I hope you found this inspirational so that you can also try to cut some things out of your life to save some money. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. I would love to see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, you might like my playlist all about minimalism and saving money so you can get inspired to save even more money. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!